adjustment. Let's check it out. Our math streams are back. Awesome, awesome. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Today is September 11th, 2020. And we're doing a math drop and tutoring session. And I went through our math tutoring session playlist and i think this is number 58 that we're doing in total i'm going to stop numbering them according to the year and i'm going to start numbering them according to how many we've done i think it's 58 we're around there anyway so i'll keep up with the numbering system in the playlist that we have and we've done a lot of these over the last well we've done 57 of these over the last couple of years probably more and uh we're basically um sort of an open discussion drop in math tutoring session hello spider-man how you doing how you doing did you like the did you see the comic book call stream uh yesterday yeah you were there for a little bit i think uh we got some great comics man i've been reading some of the old school comics some of the bronze age and uh, and whatnot so fantastic loving it loving it um aside from uh, the comic books uh this is just a ba basically a math drop in tutoring session school year has started in a weird way right we're in the middle of a pandemic crack how's it going hot mom hot mom's in town hello hello void how you doing void hook i'm most so many you missed so many streams sorry no worries man no worries i love the stream I added a bunch of stuff to my wish list did you nice nice I um I looked up a couple of other a couple of the independents online after the stream. I was like, oh man, that was super cool. That was super cool. Uh, so I looked up a couple of things, and man, that was a great haul. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I just went through it. I was like, wow, some of these things are insane, right? Cheryl, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another mass stream. Uh, so basically, we're gonna do a open discussion math stream uh high school mathematics uh we're gonna stay away from calculus because i haven't done the review i don't know it well enough to teach it no hardcore statistics combinatorics and permutations i'm not the best at it the questions confuse me right <laughs> so usually stay away from permutations and combinatorics but i know a lot of people do love it and we do touch up on it okay i just finished the uh, finished watching the video like 15 minutes ago there were a lot of great books there yeah crack uh while i was going through it it just becomes you forget what you're looking at after you put it in your you're gonna pull it right danny how are you doing right so I, I would look at it go oh that's pretty cool sometimes i would open it up right people are going through it really fast there weren't too many people that were opening up the comic books to see what was it like i would go oh that's super cool i would put that and just kept on adding kept on adding so that was the first time where i went through it just to see what was there uh, and thank you for the infos by the way uh crack um it was there was some stuff you shared with us it was like oh wow super cool super cool one of them was uh the 1974 uh reach uh i forgot what it was number 12 that i uh, picked up uh, and that was from 1974 and i didn't realize that series i didn't know that series so i'm tracking it now to see if i can get my hands on it i saw one available uh, lot for sale but uh, it's already past my budget <laughs> no worries you always great to talk to you uh talk to you all for sure for sure man um aside from that uh let me tell you who i am what i'm doing what i'm up to right little sticks tv hello hello hey chicho finally caught you live awesome glad to have you and i saw someone subscribe so i'm sorry if i missed the name sometimes i'm going speedy gonzalez style and whatnot and the names pop up and i don't catch it on time and stuff so gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs it's a given it's appreciated thank you very much um aside from that i'm on patreon hot oh, mom spider-man dude is hosting hello spider-man thank you for hosting <laughs> you've already been here from the beginning <laughs> started my intro to topology oh my god class last week it has been rough topology is rough rough hot mom i i haven't gone in down that rabbit hole myself i i looked at it touched on it i've watched a few lectures on it find it extremely fascinating uh but the mathematics is above me uh I haven't reached that level yet havoc streaming thank you very much for the follow i'm on patreon gang patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and 
all of my work because we were in the summer i really didn't mention this too often but all of my work is layered on mathematics okay maybe comic books maybe food maybe economics maybe anything else vc how are you doing okay and my patreon intro page sort of lays out what we've done so far and i haven't updated that for a while i haven't added to the playlist or or the table of contents of stuff you have to go to my youtube channel or or my website to get that but basically all of this is layered on mathematics so if you're following through patreon if you're supporting through patreon thank you for the follows thank you for the support and you got a pretty good idea of what my vision is all about uh, because as far as i'm concerned short version if everybody was litter in the language of mathematics the world would be a much better place to live in for all of us and this is my contribution towards that okay aside from everything else right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat that's going to pop up here which is where you want to be at and you can come here um, if you have math issues math questions and we'll try to help you out and there's a fair bit of people that come here that know their mathematics their mathematics is more powerful than mine so if there's anything that i can't handle people will be glad to help you out and we do have a discord page that has a mathematics folder that you can ask questions and if people uh, um, know how to give you hints of how to solve them because we're not here really to solve problems for you we're here to help you solve your own problems and learn how to do it right that's my essence uh what my strategy really is all about right um you're welcome to pop in and we'll most likely do one of these math streams every set of live streams that we announce so that's going to end up being anywhere between two to four of these drop in math during sessions per month okay um i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk gap parlor and twitter for now okay so you can follow the work there and if you have um you want to do interaction or if you want to see what we're sharing uh those platforms i do share some information anyway uh for any of the live streams where we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this video to bitshoot and youtube it is mathematics okay we're going to keep the politics to politics politics streams so we will be uploading to youtube and bitshoot and you can support this work by following subscribing sharing liking and if you're on youtube you can support this project by joining youtube membership aside from that the welcome everyone let's do some mathematics uh, ding bobber hey chicho uh, uh, how have your students been managing uh, the return to school uh, they're different each one is different um, some are really psyched to be back at school some are indifferent to it some would rather not be there okay and the schools are treating uh, rolling out their program differently okay thanks uh, spider-man um, they're rolling out their programs differently how they're dealing with it uh, i know one student uh, what they're doing is they usually in high school when you go to high school you're taking anywhere between six to eight courses right and you switch up uh, during the day and some some schools they teach for 45 minutes some schools they teach for an hour 20 minutes or something like this right so you're taking all six to eight courses per year right right now the way it's working i have one student or i i know someone that is taking one cur course for five weeks three hours a day right cram sessions and they're gonna have a hard most students are gonna have a hard time with this in high school because they don't know how to take advantage of that it's a fantastic way to learn but they don't know how to take advantage of that right they haven't been trained to be able to process information that in that way most of them anyway so we'll see how that rolls out uh, most of the other students that i have they're taking two classes for 10 weeks two hours per class okay so the term is 
10 weeks, two hours uh, per class, only two classes. And they're going to partially have a hard time with that too. Uh, and I have one student is actually taking two classes for 10 weeks, but it's three hours per class. <laughs> and then a break in the middle. <laughs> it's, it's different. Um, that's the way the system, the centralized system is dealing with it. And as far as the student goes, uh, like I said, some are liking it, some are loving it, some would rather not be there. Lonely Piggy Chicho, how's it going? Doing well, brother. Thank you very much. I just purchased Skin in the Game, which you've recommended many times in the past. Looking forward to it, brother. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. I hope you like it anyway. Okay. <clears throat> El Chico Flow made an account just to watch. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I <laughs> sure I was laughing. <laughs> What's this? Uh, Poseidor. Pos Poseidory man. Sidery man. Sidery man. I'm really happy that I graduated last year and don't have to deal with the new system and stress of figuring all that out. Yeah. Those who graduated last year, check this out. People who graduated last year, you could consider yourselves to be the luckiest graduating class um, ever in centralized education system in Canada, United States anyway, right? The last three months, you didn't have to go to school. They averaged your grades from previous two terms. So if you tried, hopefully you tried, hopefully you didn't let it all ride in the third term, <laughs> you would have not done well, right? So most people, you would have been lucky. You just skip the last three months, right? On the downside, you didn't get to party. Right? Maybe you did. Who knows? Ding bobber. I was uh, considering taking a course at my local college online. It is titled Mental Health Rehabilitation Foundations. A couple of years ago, I took the intro course to mental health at the same college. It was interesting. I uh, interviewed a friend about his depression and then with Simon. Uh, that sounds cool. Ding bobber. Uh, could be interesting it really depends on the teacher and how they roll it out senior skip year senior skip year really uh, I have one student that loved it loved it he was laughing his ass off he was a gamer right he's a gamer so he's playing games and their their class when they were doing online stuff they made it mandatory for the kids that they were doing group sessions had their videos on right so i don't know how it worked out but the teacher would be teaching and each of the kids had their videos going right <laughs> and he said it was stupid because we just turned the video on it was just playing games right because <laughs> he knew the stuff we worked together he already knew the mathematics and the uh, the stats anyway he was taking stats at the time he knew the stats uh, and he knew the physics but anyway it was, it was he loved it chicho what is two plus two vc uh using vector vector algebra maximum of four i guess it could be zero i know the answer is four but the government is telling me it's five what do i know the government's wrong the government the government don't trust the government <laughs> the government seriously depends on no really uh don't try to trust anyone uh that has that much power in educating the population but that's politics we leave it for another time our grades got average but we basically got auto admitted into unis which was great so yeah i totally agree last few months were super chill and i basically won all around sure no problem grad parties but i wasn't one of the hip kids so it wasn't gonna be a big event regardless those people who bank their money on they say, oh, it was the best time of my life and graduating high school, grade 12 was the best. Man, oops, don't watch Hollywood. Only issue I had was my linear algebra and calc classes got three quarters of the material cut. So I've uh, got to play major catch up to prepare for my calc and linear algebra classes. And, you know, yeah, and why not? It'd be fresh in your head and it really depends on your teachers uh, if they were good or not if you were going to learn 
better with them or not some there are some good teachers out there yes chicho i love this starsky how are you doing pippi lover how are you doing chicho was a master of disaster how are you guys doing there was some uh, someone that came on yesterday during a comic book live stream and uh, asked me about and by the way gang if you have any math questions or whatnot feel free to ask it whatever it is we're talking about we put a pause on it we deal with the mathematics mathematics first and foremost in these live streams no matter what it is i'll stop i'll finish off the sentence and i'll stop and we'll deal with the mathematics right uh, but in regards to education, there was someone that came up um, during the comic book stream, comic book hall uh, stream yesterday, and asked about uh, uh, lasers, lasers, I missed the name, lasers. Thank you for the sub, or thank you for the follow, uh, Pippi Lover. Two minus one equals ninety six. Two minus one equals ninety six. Can two minus one equal ninety six? If two represents a hundred and one represents four, it could equal ninety-six. I don't know. But uh, he asked me if I had any advice for people attending university, college, or university, right? What my advice would be to people that are going to college or university. Okay, so I mentioned to them that if they popped in in this stream. I could answer that question I'm not sure who it was I forget who it was and uh, we'll wait a few more minutes but if they pop up I'll take a break because that is education related math related uh, and the other thing I could do I could just tell you how I dealt with your university why I ended up doing uh, maybe we'll do that <laughs> All right instead of giving you advice I'll just tell you how I dealt with university right Starsky Chicho have you seen the stock market crazy times uh, yeah I follow the stock market every day Starsky for sure one of the main stocks I've been I've been following is Tesla right for months now I've been sort of saying what I would do if I was trading Tesla Tesla but it, it this stock market is, is just a casino right so it's just a trading game right now all you got to do do not do not this is this is not financial advice this is not personal fine uh, well we do a lot of personal finance and this is something I've said during the personal finance but take everybody's personal finance uh, is individually based right what I do with my finances is totally different than what you do with your finances I mean why would you take advice from me I collect comic books <laughs> I put my money and my investment in comic books. That's my savings. That's my retirement plan. That's that's what I do. A lot of people take that and put it into stock market. Uh, which one's smarter? Comic book, stock market? It depends what you're invested in, right? My bit of advice to anybody, and it's not advice. Again, I'm putting disclaimers here because, you know, you you got to you gotta put it in because people hold you they say oh you told me to do this yeah I told you to do that but you didn't sell after it went up five times you're still holding what are you holding for like <laughs> what do you want to do right uh, I would not be buying anything right now except for a handful of stocks and a couple of different sectors over an extended period of time this is a traders market traders market I've never seen it I've been following the markets for 20 plus years I've never seen a traders market this delightful right if you're interested in Wall Street uh, playing that game I'm personally not okay lover how are you doing the university system is the high ed of the new world order to a certain degree I agree with you yes Tesla lost 25% or something like that yeah but Starsky Tesla has gone up from 2011 and I've mentioned this before I bought into Tesla for I was sort of managing money for family member I bought them Tesla stock when it was $25 okay back in 2011 right so I've been following Tesla since day one okay went from 25 to 300 popping around 300 down to 160 or so but then it went from 160 to 25 a uh, thousand and then it dropped to 300 right and then it went from 300 to 
2500 and then a five for one split which came down to 500 and then it dropped down to 300 now it's trading 300 plus right if you say Tesla dropped 25 percent it really depends when you bought it right so this is a trader's market this is a trader's market uh, markets are inflated yeah so uh, many things we're in bubble bubble everything including comic books by the way that's why I only look for great deals right uh, ding baba chicho how do you quant quantify the level of absurdity 2020 has presented us I know a equals B to the power of C where a is the level of absurdity and B is the US election and C is COVID uh, okay you can't COVID is just an anomaly so you can't make C COVID C you can make a variable right but the level of absurdity in 2020 to me uh, because look this is politics right I, I don't really want to talk about politics but you're putting in mathematics in there ding bobber so you're being tricky about this thing right but to me 2020 is no more absurd than if you go back 19 years to the day minus how many hours minus how many hours right now is three okay first plane was nine nine fifteen or so right now if you go back 19 years to me the absurd level in 2020 is no different than the absurd level in 2001 to uh 2002 2003 in the build-up to uh, invasion of iraq as well as 2007 2008 2009 it's no different this game is not new people might be new into the game but please realize this game is not new and politics we keep on politics game we do politics tomorrow we can talk about this tomorrow I'm taking a pop culture and communications media studies class and we're learning about the importance and impact of branding so I'm hoping I might be able to do one of my papers on the impact of social media public image on the stock market cool share with us if you do uh, spy uh, cidery man yeah for sure it'd be cool suhidi <laughs> system went down with a guy <laughs> with surge with thing on it that's cool and a little graph what is that one that's a pen and you got a pad also what's happening is a healthy thing for the markets you ain't seen nothing yet uh, if if you're talking about 25 percent down it's ding while we're sorry laugh out loud you see twitter uh, it's an election year oh damn good point 2001 yeah 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 elder god how are you doing hey there did you already talk about college aha k2 i mentioned someone asked me risk k2 it was you wasn't it i haven't talked about it yet uh i mentioned that someone asked in the comic book stream yesterday 19 years nine hours 49 minutes give or take not nine hours oh yeah nine hours nine o'clock uh, um what do you call it uh, east coast time that's right chicho you're beautiful your beard is very handsome spunky trackies thanks goatee goatee hey chicho how's how's your day going doing good drippy black man in tuxedo that was easy to read very crazy it was such a big big username long username Riz k2 talking about college university advice for people going to college university I can give you advice or I could tell you what I did what would you like how what my university life was like okay if I was a woman I uh, snuggle <laughs> lover Tesla 25 holy shit it's 300 no it uh, Starsky it's not 325 Tesla did a five for one split so 2011 when tesla was 25 it would be equivalent to tesla being five so tesla was five if you're going with today's price because last week tesla did a split it would be equivalent to tesla being five to 370 uh, 372 right i'm glad i'm here it does look very cuddly thanks general advice would be great general advice okay 
then you're experienced too if you're willing to share <laughs> that's a lot of college talk look general advice gang you're paying for college okay this isn't high school where it's mandatory for you to go maybe your family is telling you you have to go otherwise you're disowned and you're out of the out of the house or or whatever it is whatever whatever has made you go to college or university it was a personal choice no matter how much pressure you have on you right high school was mandatory you need your high school degree right that's also you know neither here nor there but you'll you're silly if you don't get your high school degree if you think it's it's a waste of time then you should do it as fast as you can right you could challenge courses you could study on your own homeschool and finish high school in two years really if you bunker down and do it instead of five years right but college or university is a personal choice ask yourself why it is you're going to post-secondary education why is it that you're going to post-secondary education k2 answer me that why are you going to university why are you going to college answer that question and we'll continue let's make this a two-way conversation maybe right because the advice wouldn't be across the board for everyone right some people are going to college because they had a crappy social life in high school maybe they were going to a school which didn't have anyone in like of like mind that they can interact with maybe they went to a high school where there's a lot of bullies and they bullied everyone and that school let people do that right so some people go into university for different things right so why is it are you, you're going to university k2 spunky trackies chicho you may be the smartest man i have ever come into view of within my life i don't i doubt it then if i am then you haven't uh uh, been listening to too many lectures you should go listen to some lectures right I, I have a if you go to my home page if you go to my about page go to my go to chicho.com and then in the top you'll see a little button go to about page okay and in the about page I've listed a whole bunch of things that have influenced my life right one of them is some great teachers that I've had another one is important lectures um, books comic books and stuff like this uh, I would recommend Bill Hicks <laughs> Bill Hicks was brilliant brilliant consume everything Bill Hicks um, and Robert Anton Wilson and Terence McKenna and just a student of those were some of my teachers and Nina Simone right for sure Nina Simone right but thank you for the love I math always from ground zero <laughs> tuxedo you're an ethereal being Chicho truly ethereal I don't know what the word ethereal is that tells you how what my vocabulary is right if you think you're uh, it's a waste of time then do it quickly that's beautiful Chicho basically like that's one thing like people procrastinate right procrastinate when they hate doing something bit of advice bit of advice and we'll make this math related sort of to a certain degree right here's things you need to do and we've talked about this I did this I created a video in how to study mentioning that you should make a to-do list and uh, in your to-do list you should have your wants and your needs right you want to do want to do and you need to do need to do right let's use a better pen you want to do you need to do is this better <laughs> is come out okay I need new pen supply oh actually hold on a second I gotta get rid of the pens that aren't that good new pens let's crack this one open yeah let's do this let me erase this okay k2 i'm gonna read your comment as soon as i finish this um, let me read it first in my case university is free germany perfect so the motivation is trying out a subject statistics and get a degree if it's fun also kind of insurance policy since a degree is helpful in the future okay now want 
to do need to do and if you're going to university make a to-do list to do list really start creating a list what you need to do especially your assignments your homeworks and whatnot okay do it now sometimes your wants are these right you want to do you want to do you want to do and your needs are these right now sometimes the wants and needs are the same thing right awesome do those do those first if this and this are the same approximately right if you want to watch a movie and you want to watch a movie you just want to sit down and chill for two hours just watch something right and you're taking a course that's about whatever history uh string theory uh economics politics watch a documentary documentary covers both does that and that right so make a to-do list take a look at it and see if you can knock two things off at the same time by doing one thing boom done then let's say this guy connects with that guy done done right then you got three here that you want to do and three here that you need to do knock these guys off first then the only thing left in your life is your wants not your needs your needs are sometimes important you need to go shopping right okay go shopping like you need to do certain things everybody has needs right but the, here's a trick to university college life in general your needs will always pop up and you will always have new wants that you want if you're constantly knocking off your needs as fast as they show up most of your life is going to be filled with things you want to do really and need pops up you need to take out the garbage take it out you need to do the dishes take it out you need to mow the lawn take it out you got no more needs to do right you only have wants in your life that's a good life right k2 take a look at this uh, in my case, I'm a university free Germany. So the motivation is trying out a subject statistics and get a degree if it's fun. Also kind of insurance policy since a degree is helpful in the future. Certain degrees are helpful in the future. I agree that a degree is better than not a degree as long as it's free, right? If you're paying a ton of money to get a degree and you think that's going to be helpful to you, then you're not, you're not managing your risk right because if you're going into major debt especially in the united states and canada because you need to take out student loans right unless you got 100 percent scholarship and you're super wealthy and whatnot and you got funds coming in right most people need to take out loans to get their degree right now a degree in general is better than not a degree because some places they require a degree and it gives you a little bit of lean way and stuff like this but if you've gone into debt tens of thousands of dollars and this degree gets you a job at a mcdonald's then i'm sorry your risk tolerance this degree the benefits of this degree don't even cover parts of the cost of this degree right so you need to manage the cost the risk right so your statement also kind of insurance policy since a degree is a help is helpful in the future certain degrees are helpful in the future statistics 100 percent. if you're going to get a degree in statistics it's going to be helpful in the future okay unless you're going to go into cowboying or something and even cowboys need to know a certain amount of statistics actually they probably have to know a lot of statistics I, i'm not sure what doesn't require statistics right now okay because if you're going to be online you need to know stats right and if you're running a business if you're doing any type of work it's a good idea to be online you should have a presence online this should have made people you know sink into people that no matter what it is that you're doing you need to have a presence online 
the online community is the real world contrary to what certain people have been telling a lot of other people that have been spending a lot of time online oh forget about the internet do things in the real world the real world this is the real world this is this is real right and this is something that i've heard parents say teachers say politicians say oh they're not they're not functioning the real this is the real world right so you need to have a presence online okay and if you have you're gonna have a presence online you need to know statistics so degree in statistics most definitely beneficial now your first sentence fantastic k2 in my case university is free in germany or second sentence i guess so the motivation is to try out a subject statistics in this case and get it get a degree if it's fun 100 percent. you should be going to university to sample unless you know 100 percent what it is you want to get your degree in and even though you know 100 percent what it is you want to get a degree in any program you get into is going to have electives that you need to take and the electives will have to be outside of your major okay that's the way it worked when i got my degree right so let's say you want to go get a degree in statistics right your program will most likely anyway from what i know most likely say that you also need to take two arts courses two sociology courses and one i don't know whatever right that's their way of getting forcing people who are getting a degree in something to sample other topics right so your first year of university should be there just to see what it's all about take the courses you really want to take and if you don't like a course don't be afraid to drop it as long as it's not gonna put you in bad standing when they're gonna kick you out of university right don't be afraid to let go of a course if you don't like it right if you get a crappy professor right then think about if you really want to be in that program really want to be in that course or are you going to have an opportunity to take this course in the next semester with a better professor because you get a lot more out of it right then and if that's allowed then you can drop this one focus more on the other ones and be careful by the way i've known a lot of people okay that like in my part of the world full time is considered anywhere between four to six courses right so four to six courses courses is full time full time right now six courses is a lot right i've taken six courses in a semester it's a lot of work four courses wasn't that much less work than six courses because when you're taking six courses you have to manage your time in a way where you're optimizing it right you're functioning under high pressure okay there's a rule in a, in in the workforce in in the workplace the rule is this if you want to get something done if you're working in a company give it to the person that's the busiest because they know how to get things done don't give something that you want done to someone who's sitting around twirling their thumbs right so when you're taking six courses that means you know how to work you you should anyway okay know how to get things done now i don't do i recommend taking six courses maybe six courses that are related right so if you take physics math chemistry that's why sciences when you group them together they complement each other it's like a venn diagram right right here's mathematics math chem physics right so here's this part of chemistry is just straight up mathematics if not more geometry as well right once you get into the high level stuff is it's like this much of it is mathematics and this much of physics most likely more is just mathematics so when you take mathematics physics and chemistry should be complementary right statistics would be just like half of it would be mathematics right or 
um, maybe not half, depending on what level of uh, stats you're taking, right? So really think about why it is that you're there. And if you're going in there first year, you're there to sample, really do well in the courses that you know are the foundations of what you want to focus your work on, focus your life on, focus your energy on. If it's mathematics, make sure mathematics is a major central theme of what it is that you're doing right for me my first year you said share my experiences my first year of university i went in there i went in there half half assed right i went in there because family was saying get in there and, and i got in like i got accepted my marks were good enough and at that time it was easier to get into university right so i took i don't know how many courses uh, first year i took i don't know f five courses first semester five courses second semester right so first semester i took five courses i had geophysics geology english something and something i can't remember what they were chemistry and physics or something like this right and calculus like six courses i guess yeah it would have been six courses right so i took six courses i failed calculus because i thought i could treat it like mathematics okay uh geophysics I did the best then because I was interested in geophysics and I got my degree in geophysics. So I knew right off the bat, I want to go into geophysics, geophysics and geology. I did fantastic English. I failed calculus. I failed and physics and chemistry. I just barely passed. Right. And then I dropped out and went to college because I wanted to try out business and people were like flipping out. Right. Because you usually go to college and then go to university, upgrade to university in Canada. That's the way it works. I went from university and then went to college because I was sampling, right? I hope that deals with that aspect of it, RK. If you got any more questions, let me know. Did you read The Stone and the Flute yet? No. Bill Hicks and Mitch Hedgeberg. I think I know Mitch. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. University is free. A big, big sigh in English. Yeah. Chicho, uh, Ding Robber. Chicho, I owe you a big thanks. Your Discord has given me a place to share my music with a little bit of feedback, which is hugely appreciated. Also, when you like my tracks on SoundCloud, it appears on your SoundCloud profile and I get some hits that way. Awesome. Good stuff, Ding Robber. And nice music you're sharing, by the way. Hello, Chief. Not Subber. Sub. Reno 6 not sabrino six <laughs> nice face whose face is that actually would you explain us oh god i don't know what this is zamograph's theory uh, can you explain it to me i have no idea what this is i do all my wants first feels bad <laughs> true north if your wants are the same as your needs but you're doing your needs as well but it's some things you need to do right if you do all your wants first and the only thing you're left with everything you need to do man, that's heavy right that's heavy fam james bond how are you doing okay i'm gonna look up what this zengel roth's theory is courses are set and built only on core mathematics and a bit of programming so i see myself most of the time grinding on math since I wasn't the best in school. K2, keep on grinding away. That's what I did as well in uh, in university. I just kept on grinding it out. And all of a sudden, especially with um, calculus, and all of a sudden, it just made sense. I was like, man, why didn't they explain this to me from the get-go, the way I just, it just became an epiphany to me, right? What is this... Uh, Sig Sigmodis theorem in number theory Sigmodis theorem named after Carl Zygmunt states that if a is greater than b greater than zero are co-prime integers then for any integer n greater or equal to one any integer greater, greater, there's a prime number p that divides oh my god this theorem <laughs> I've seen this before uh, absolutely not I cannot explain that <laughs> Is number theory stuff, number theory stuff. Yeah, too much, too much. Graham, thank you for the raid, brother. Thank you for the raid. Emily and P, how are you doing? Raid. Uncle Bill Drone. 
Rave. <laughs> Fun. What else should we do, gang? Hey, Chicho, Eduardo, how are you doing? How is life? We could do things related to economics. And I'm just making this available, by the way, gang. Drop in tutoring session. I'm assuming people are going to, uh, if they're wise about it, because look, there's going to be kids. I'm well. Awesome, Emily. There's going to be kids. Thank you very much for the uh, sub. Slimy boy for 200. <laughs> look, right now, school year has started in Canada, United States. And I'm not sure how Europe is dealing with it, right? Or different parts of the world are dealing with it. I know how they're dealing with it in Canada. Okay. Leaky old man. But <laughs> thanks for the follow. <laughs> nice names. We got a fart in the butt joining us. Um, I know how they're dealing with it in Canada. Each province is different. Each, each district is different, right? A lot of the students right now, if you've gone through our current education system in Canada, United States, know this. You have not been educated. You have been indoctrinated. You have been treated like an infant, like someone that they have to shove, force feed a um rules to right that you're just a cog you're just a pawn that you're going to be doing what you're told right unfortunately some people have fallen for this and they don't do things that they need to do until they're told to do it right now if you're in canada united states you have to realize you're free thinking human being you are responsible for your own choices right there's a lot of people out there like oh the system made me do it this person made me do it they didn't tell me that i didn't learn that so i'm going to be nobody i'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life right I'm, I'm being hard right now by the way gang okay because it's at the beginning of the school year and i know the system that's being rolled out right now there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get burned in this okay don't be one of them you as if you believe that you are responsible for your own life your choices make a difference your choices define who you are what you will be where you will be okay in your life if you don't take advice from those that love you i'm not talking about centralized education system i'm not talking about the government i'm not talking about your teachers i'm not talking about authority i'm talking about taking advice from your parents from your siblings that are older from friends that have maybe gone through some experiences if they turn around and tell you look man start doing some work right do your mathematics learn it okay spend the time because you're going to need it and if you're not listening to them when the time comes to pay the piper make sure you don't go it's not my fault it is your fault if you're not taking responsibility for your own actions okay if you don't take responsibility for your own education you're an idiot end of story right k2 you said you said you said it is a place that you can learn a lot if you set your mind to it and you need to be careful who you're giving your attention to do you mean focusing on your core courses by that i mean by the way good question by the way k2 here's the thing let's say you're taking five courses let's say two of them are your core courses that you know this is the branch you're going to go into right let's say these three courses are things you're sampling they might be part of the curriculum you need them right you need it to get your degree if you need it to get your degree at least get a 50% get the credit for it right if you need to go to graduate level studies do better because they look at the marks right if you want to get your master's or PhD you need to find a prof that's gonna accept you as their student if they think you're only putting in half ass measure to in undergrad school right then they're not gonna accept you right so if you're gonna to go to master's or PhD level make sure you're getting the best marks possible but let's assume you're taking five courses two of them are your core one of them you need to do well in right and two of them are electives right 
let's say you're loving these courses right they're heavy courses you need to put the time in these two courses uh, one of them you really like right but you don't have the time to make sure you get an A in it and this one you don't like right let this one go if you can and for this one the mark doesn't matter if it's an elective and if you're not planning on going to master's university manage your time right so you're doing really well in this one in this one and this one and this one you can sacrifice give yourself a little buffer right so don't manage your time right and let's say you're taking five courses here are your five courses one two three four five this one is garbage done let's say you're gonna kill it All right let's assume this one you want to get 90 percent let's say this one you're gonna to want to get 90 percent let's say this one you want to get 80 percent looks good right this one is flexible right this one should be flexible if it's just an elective and the mark doesn't matter if you're trying to get 90 percent in this and by trying to get 90 percent in this you're going to sacrifice 10 marks 10 percent here get 80 here get 80 here get 70 here and get 90 in your elective that doesn't look as good as this sacrifice this okay kick this down to 60 percent right maintain this at 90 percent 90 percent and 80 percent this looks better than this what would the average for these be let's check out the average for these let's see what you end up getting the zeros we can just kill right so 16 25 right da, da, 25 32 right 32 what is this one 18 uh 24 30. your average here is more but this looks better okay if i did the calculation correctly right that's what i mean with managing your time okay managing your courses put your effort in the places that matter don't try to get a hundred percent ninety percent in everything right you were shooting for this ended up getting these because you try to get 90 in this why okay that's not right did i do it right what do we do 16 16 plus 9 is 25 25 plus 7 is 32 18 18 oh 26 oh 32 this is 32 too my bad <laughs> thanks i just saw it pop up here in the chat right so that's 32 as well this is way better than this same actually it's better than now they're saying same average right same average okay same total marks it's not average but same total marks you just divide it by four to get your average right divided by four that's 80 this is 80 average is 80 percent right but this one is way better way better okay if i was looking at it anyway twitch says i followed for a year but i don't remember i'm sorry no worries drawing twitch knows <laughs> the automations no i don't trust them but thanks for subscribing i don't think you've subscribed though i did one year of econ last year and i love the math courses but that was pretty hard and my uni is known for being hard on math for econ students okay graham drawing me and chicho kind of have similar views on education i don't know if you can you can tell ding bobber we should uh anakin thank you for the correction by the way uh, uh ding bobber we should uh devise an, equ an equation we can plug numbers into that calculates how many bars in a song per minute based on tempo where one bar is four seconds at, at a tempo of 60. so if we plug in a tempo of 111 how many bars is that that's just a straight up uh, 
unit conversion, I think. That's just straight up unit conversion. Let me get this, uh, write this down. Para, 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 para. So where one bar is four seconds at a tempo of 60. So if we plug in a tempo of how many bars in a minute? Okay, sure, let's do this. So it's a triple ratio, right? So we have, uh, we're one bar. So we got bar to uh, seconds. Uh, let's put time because you're going minutes and seconds, right? Um, actually, no, let's keep it at seconds. Let's keep it at seconds. Why? Why? confuse the matter right we got bar uh, seconds seconds and we got uh, tempo tempo okay so our standard our scale our conversion is 1 4 60 so one bar uh, four seconds 60 tempo right and you want to find out how many so if we plug in a tempo of 111 how many bars in a minute so all you got to do is say okay this is your x and this is your y your unknowns all you need is one value in and here let's put a z right or b s t right let's use the first letters of the variables that we're talking about right because you can just set it in, right? So B, S, T. That's our units, right? So what you can do is just represent these as fractions. So you could plug in one value for one of these and calculate the other two as long as you have your standard scale set up, standard unit conversion set up. So you wanted 111 here tempo and you need to figure out how many bars per second right okay so all you do now is link them up right so this can go with this this can go with this or this can go with this and this can go with this right and this can go with this and this can go with this you it's symmetry in mathematics it's all about symmetry right so we want to figure out how many bars per four seconds right you can calculate it. You can calculate this. Okay. So you could go. Pop, 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 pop. Let's do this. Let's do this to this and this to this. So four seconds for 60. And if you put seconds up top, seconds up top, and bars in the bottom, not bars, uh, tempo. 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 Then in here, the seconds have to be up top. And the tempo has to be in the bottom and you cross multiply so s is equal to this comes up kicks up here that goes there when you divide it again so you just going to cross it out so it's going to be 444 111 times 4 divided by 60. okay that tells you how many seconds you're going to have in 111 bars and we can punch this in what is that equal to Sorry if I'm missing some of the chat gang, but let's just deal with the questions as they come up. So 27 seconds, 27.75 seconds. So this is going to be, our calculation for this was 27.75 seconds. Okay. So it takes 27.75 seconds to do 111 bars, right? And then we can, um, yeah. 111 a tempo right we can figure out the bars just do the same conversion this to this and this to this right and i usually go with the standard i don't pick this up and do a comparison well yeah we just do that so one over 60 so we're going to have a bar over tempo or we could just put it over seconds because we calculate seconds but let's stick with tempo tempo is equal to 1 over 60 that's your standard so that has to be b over 111 b over 111 and you cross multiply this up so b is equal to 111 over 60 so this was 
27.75. This was, uh, oh, we got to calculate it. 111. 111 divided by 60. We get 1.85 bars. Okay, so this becomes 1.85 bars, right? That's just a straight up conversion, okay? Now your question was per uh, 30 per minute? Per minute, I think you wanted. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, where are you? Uh, per minute, right? So check this out. How many minutes, how many seconds in a minute? 60 seconds in a minute, right? So what you could do is take your standard conversion. You want you want to kick this up to 60, right? That's what you want your conversion factor to be. So that's just straight up using this, right? Now, here's what else you can do to get your next level of question. I'm going to erase this part, okay? So you want 60 seconds here, right? So you can force this. You want 60 seconds here and you want to calculate the B and the tempo, right? Okay. So all you got to do is do this over this equals this over this. Okay. Because we're forcing it to be 60 seconds. So you can go four I'm not going to write down the tempo of the variables now four over 60 this over this has to equal this over this 60 over uh, ba -da 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 one 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 is that the way it works is is this music I'm not I don't know how the music I don't know my music if this is a legitimate thing to do this is just straight up ratios right um, oh sorry not 111 we want this to be T you want to calculate what the tempo would be it's not it's not do, do, do. let's check it out leaky Graham showing work on twitch is a pain oh okay so you're talking to Graham I hope anyway so we want this to be T so we we have to figure out what the tempo would be right? I don't think this is the way it's gonna work because the T is not gonna be the same as this right Four over sixty. Wouldn't it be four over sixty? Sixty over. Why? Yeah, yeah. I made a mistake. Right. And then you just cross multiply. Right. So four t is equal to three six zero, zero sixty times that. Divide by four. Divide by four. So t is equal to. Well, four goes into. 36 nine times and you get zero zero right so the tempo would be 900 is that the way it works i don't think that's, that does that doesn't make sense you want to force the tempo to be 111 right so if you want to force the tempo to be 111 it would have to be 27.75 seconds and the beats and the bars would be 1.85 think you just gave an arbitrary reference like okay. <laughs> but that's all it is it's just unit conversion as far as I understand it that's not right and again so let's kill this if if that makes sense Anakin was saying the the conversion thing is not correct uh, leaky old man but i was on the dean's uh list every year till i got my phd i say you should always put in as much effort as you can possible uh if you cannot make that as a goal yes i'd say go for what you said also cool seeing math love on twitch awesome yeah awesome seeing that glad to share the math love on twitch howdy howdy coolio how's it going and i agree like if you can if you can get 90 percent and everything do it right but if you if you're being overwhelmed and there's going to be semesters that you're going to be overwhelmed right if you're there uh, for 
multiple years, if you're going to university for four year program, there's going to be a couple of semesters that you're going to have hiccups on. If you're going to have hiccups on any of the semesters, manage your courses, right? Don't sacrifice your must courses for electives unless you're going to change. You know, you really love the electives and you don't have to do well in the course to enjoy the course, right? I've got another math puzzle for you. There's one four digit whole number n such that the last four digits of n squared are in fact the original number n. Find n. Oh, the last four digits. Let's write this down and then we'll let people think about it. I'm really bad with these puzzle things. There, there's one four digit whole number n. So one, two, three, four. That's your n. There's four digits. Here, let me write it out this way. So we're going in the right direction. N is equal to four digits. And then n squared, the last four digits, one, two, three, four. But how many digits would be here? We have no idea. So if this is x, y, z, w, this would be x, y, z, w. Find this number. How many digits would be here? Do we know? Such that the last four digits of n squared are in fact the original number n. Find n. Oof. Let me know if anybody has the answer. K2. Also, a bit more in general. If you're not sure what career to pursue, and whether you should get your degree or not, what's your advice? A sample. Sample. Jump from one discipline to another discipline and get a feel for it and talk to people. Do research. Find out if you're if your main objective is to and your main objective shouldn't be this, but if your main objective is to get a job that you can make money and make a living and pay your own way then look into the stats of which jobs are in demand which jobs are going to be in demand for the next 20 years 10 years five years whatever it is your time frame is what the average salary is what the benefits are so look into if there is once you get your degree are you going to be able to get a job in that course in that field maybe work towards financial independence from your parents by finding a job move out and see what your interests are from there and that is also an option uh, k2 but your your thing was what's my suggestion for people going to college or university for sure that is an option instead of going to university go get an apprenticeship go get a job right and by the way that's exactly what I did I went to university for one year right I didn't like it I found it the university I went to was very childish, which was like high school. People were idiots. It was my take, but I, I just wasn't into it. So I dropped out for the family was freaking out on this for four, five, five months. I got a job in a gas station working a graveyard shift. Family was like, what the hell are you doing? Right? So I dropped out of university in the geophysics program to get a job at a gas station at a graveyard shift because I wanted to read Lord of the Rings and I wanted to interact with people that I hadn't interacted with. And it was fantastic. One of the best decisions I ever made in my life. And then after that, I went to college and took business, enrolled in a two year business program to see what business was like. And then after a couple of months, a month, I realized, man, business is just doing right the mathematics in it was ridiculously easy because I came from a math background right so I did it I did it seriously for a month and then I didn't do it seriously at all I failed a couple of courses and partied and did okay in a couple of courses and I I knew I was dropping out after the first term I dropped out after the first term and then went to a different university and went hardcore on geophysics right there's nothing there's nobody chasing you for you to get your degree ASAP unless you're going into debt for it if you're going into debt for it man make sure you bunker down and do your work thing bobber awesome stuff Chicho. didn't know it was that easy it's that easy the ratio stuff thing bobber okay sure work on twitch the pants 
da, 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 da. just give our share how often do you do math tutorials I'm gonna do them um, we're gonna do anywhere between two to four a month from now on most likely every set of live streams that I announce light after dusk uh, every set of streams that I announce I'm most likely gonna have a drop in math tutoring session in it and I announce the streams every uh, I do anywhere between three to I announce anywhere between three to ten live stream sets right so if I announce a ten live stream set we only get two sets in so we'll do two math live streams if I announce anywhere between three to four live streams in a row we'll most likely end up doing like anywhere between three to four drop in math tutoring sessions a month okay but I'm gonna keep it up because there's gonna be a lot of people I'm assuming that are gonna need help uh, just because of what's going on uh, with uh, school right now okay leaky old man but I was never overwhelmed but I am not normal uh, bond fan James bond last year in calculus I learned that square root of 2 is approximately 1.4 it's useless but I can't get it out of my brain because I remember like once a month uh, SI I looked uh, uh, how did I do the same with my courses and I found a learning thing where you study your courses in mid and long term one day uh, plus one day plus three day plus seven day plus 30 day plus 50 day is the method desk J I don't know if it exists in English and that's work amazing okay cool and everybody's basically look everybody's study method is different right like if I have a how to study playlist on YouTube my how to study videos are a couple of the first initial videos I put out uh, in 2007 2008 something like that or 2009 right like 11 12 years ago right because what I found out is from a lot of you know working with students and stuff like that people didn't know how to study people didn't know how to read a textbook I put out a video long video showing people how to read a textbook right important there's no class in high school that teaches kids how to read a textbook like that's insane to me you give people a tool to use but you don't teach them how to use that tool that's how ridiculous our centralized education system is right so there's different study methods for different people some people need to study every day Right, every day, every day. It's not a bad idea. Every day, every day, every day, every day. They have a great study habit. They study two hours every day, do their homework, right? And they do well. Some people just think about the work and they do cram sessions, you know, ten hours a day for five hours. Right. You dropped out because of math. Oh math for those of you who think math is hard you've been lied to right they they robbed you of the tool that you're gonna need to become a free human being or to excel in whatever you need to excel in okay mathematics is easy I know you're gonna hear this and you're gonna go no it's not yes it is right they just didn't teach it to you properly do you know why math is ridiculously easy because math unlike any other course that you take builds on from the previous year so every year you go into unless you until you go to like postgraduate studies and stuff like this right but in high school and university for the most part every math course you take builds on what you've already learned right so if math grade let's start with grade eight grade eight you learn this much grade nine is just this much more really is a review of this and then they add this much more grade 10 review of this they add this much more and so on and so forth right no other course does that when you learn history you have to learn new dates new names new events new this new this new this right English they give you new books to read new this new this new this mathematics not you're just building off from previous years it should be the easiest course you take really
I started doing science instead instead of math was too much for me well so, mathematics is the uh, is the language of science really welding nutritions are great Mickey old man I got my PhD in particle physics my specialty was self-organization of particles in open and closed systems and then started my own business it's very normal that once you leave school you will go into something else yeah agreed right yeah I don't regret dropping out <laughs> nice <laughs> that's good if you don't regret dropping out fantastic right but I'm pretty sure you're still using a fair bit of mathematics in in your life if you're still in university doing sciences right the answer is three thousand nine thousand three hundred seventy six really appreciate your experience thanks for the insight my pleasure k2 if you have any other questions specific let me know like and i and I, everything i say to a certain degree i've done at different times right uh, like when i went back to university for two years i bunkered down and i studied pretty hard like i didn't want to make any friends i went to a different university different province different town i stayed by myself like i didn't i associated with uh, uh, my brother was there and we had we were three people living in a room in one bedroom apartment right i studied on i slept on tile flooring in a sleeping in sleeping bag that i had two layers of sleeping bag right in a corner of the one bedroom apartment like ghetto style right and cockroach towers right and all i did was just read learn study collect read my comic books it was fantastic dusk yeah my friend was asking me questions about math today i will tell them about your stream awesome yeah have them drop by if they if they you know if they have questions if you can help them out we will help them out donite we did have those classes in school Ch -ch -ch. greetings chicho brando hits how are you doing greetings greetings yeah i don't know the answer to this uh graham how to study it was trash oh they did a bad job on it too bad like some of the videos that get the most amount of views on my channel are the how to study videos because i didn't learn the techniques that i shared in those videos by taking courses that's what i did that's how i studied how i get things done so the how to study playlist on my youtube channel it, it is how to study but it's my how I get things done playlist okay leaky old man well they don't learn that till they go into advanced programs I usually go down a rabbit hole and spend the night studying uh, light light after dark I did that a lot pull all-nighters I had the Ron L Hubbard team try to to sell me on a book on how to study i think i did buy it oh my god did you i was in the uh, teenage years yeah the cults usually give out their books for free scammers sold it to you i'm pretty sure the ones that sold it to your pocket in the money the the beginnings of studying right is not studied in class no i was in special ed for math yeah uh, there you go. Math is about learning how to use logic and following rule sets. Uh, it's a language structure. Chicho, you missed something with my question. I had one bar in four seconds, so that means fifteen bars in a in a minute. Uh, yes, for sure. So with a tempo of one hundred and eleven, it would increase to seven bars in a minute. Did I do the math? Oh man, I erased it. Uh, well, it, 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 see, it doesn't work out because if you wanna, uh, it would increase to. Was it twenty-seven point seven five? I thought that was twenty-seven point seven five was the seconds uh, related to one hundred eleven bars. Uh, tempo, sorry, not bars. Tempo. So with the tempo it would be increased to the bars would increase to 27.75 no i think that was the seconds 
uh, it was 27.75 right oh, the bars would increase to that it just doesn't match with the seconds though that's the problem I think I confused myself, Ding Baba. Math is beautiful. Patterns, patterns it is. But in my later years, uh, 111, oh, I gotta figure this out. 111 over 60, because it was, okay, I gotta write this down. Let's check it out. Oh, I Reese Graham's thing. Graham, I'm sorry. I'm really bad with these things. I can't figure it out. Did Graham answer us? I'll write it out again. Uh, here we got um we had one four one 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 we want this to be 60 and that becomes 15 and we multiplied this by four so that becomes 444 right so you're saying uh 100 that over 60 why are you putting the 15 so you're doing this you want to figure out this right is that what you try to figure out that doesn't make sense so you're going 111 let's write it as a ratio so you're going 111 111 over 60 is equal to whatever the x is over 15 right because all i'm doing is this I'm going 111 over 60 times 15 is equal to X. Whatever the X is, we're trying to figure out. You can kick this down and that becomes 15, right? So you can do it that way. I'm trying to figure out what it is you're trying to figure out. So you're going, I'm not sure where you got this from. So the other thing we could do is do this. Switch these positions. X is down here and 60 is over here. So you're going this divided by this. Is this divided by what? That doesn't make sense. Like you're taking the different units and putting them in the wrong places. It's about symmetry, right? If you go this divided by this, then it has to be this divided by this. It can't be that because that's a tempo. Do you follow, uh, Ding Bobber? Brando hits, but in my later years, I have developed a love of basic math. Which kind of, yeah, I don't know if it was hard. I just uh, wasn't passionate about. It. Yeah, if you're not passionate about something, don't spend the time and money, unless you have to, uh, for it, right? Well, I'm not a rocket scientist. Huh? No, I'm not in university. I totally dropped out of school doing a course online instead. Cool. Aside from acting, I also I'm also a video tech. Quite of a bit in that skill. Yeah. Math is used in almost every industry. Indeed. Leaky old man. Indeed. Makino, how are you doing? What is your business name? Would love to look in look into it. If you have a website. K K2. Yeah, sometimes I feel pressure to get my degree fast. Already visited another university. So it's quite relaxing to hear the take take it yeah enjoy the process like for me like really i went to first year university at one university dropped out worked in a gas station a graveyard shift people are like what went to another university and then took four years to finish that right because it was a co-op honors co-op uh program uh so i went pretty hardcore with it but it was my choice to go hardcore with it. It wasn't pressure coming from outside saying, you got to go hardcore with it. I told people, no, get away from me. This is my life. I want to experience life. I want to enjoy life as well. I'm not here for a one trick pony, right? I want to experience different things. Take care, K2. Take care. And sweet dreams. It is 15, 1, 60, 51. Not what you wrote. Oh, it's not what I wrote. Wait a second.
Well, wait a second. That's what you wrote. Fifteen one. Wait a second. That's the ratio. Fifteen one sixty. So you're saying the ratio you want is this? Fifteen one sixty. Is that what you want? And the one is minutes. Was that directed towards me? I don't know. Yes, sir. So one fifteen sixty seconds becomes that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What? Oh, this was sixty seconds is a constant or one minute. So this was it. So this would have been one minute so we're doing it in this in minutes okay give me the ratio thing mama 15 60 60 is that what we're doing 60 is one second oh uh, sorry one minute so is this the ratio 15 60 60 would this really being one minute 60 seconds if we're doing it in seconds i don't know and graham's question was this n is x y Z W four digit number. What is this number if it's squared? The last four digits are also X Y Z W, but we don't know how many digits are here. I'm assuming there's going to be four more, right? Well, every four digit number squared become eight digits. I'm assuming one, two, three, four four does it I don't know if that's the case or not 15 bar 60 seconds 6 60 tempo into and the other ratio is 227 seven, five. 60 seconds, one, one, one tempo. But these two ratios are not compatible because 60 can't go to 15 and 60 go to this. Hello, nice to be reminded of my lack of mathematical skills. <laughs> Come on, how is he doing? It's not, oh, it's not a ratio. Okay, okay. I'm not sure, Ding Bomber. I'm not sure what it is uh, that you're looking for, to tell you the truth. Not too many math questions. Well, some math questions. Some math questions. I'm assuming people are just getting into the, the school starting, right? We'll see. We'll see how many people come on Twitch to get math help. I'm assuming some people might be just exhausted of being online and doing mathematics, right? Because some places are, uh, their classes are online, right? The first and last are related. These two, those two are related? <laughs> You've totally lost me, Ding Bobber. Meanwhile, how do we do this? Man. How do we do this? Find a number that's four digits where once squared, the last four digits are the same as the number. Hello, teach me geometry, please. I need help, teacher. Uh, what type of geometry? Could you teach me how to utilize the Riemann hypothesis? No, <laughs> I don't use it. <laughs> Teach me what type of geometry, Mr. Gaming Beast? What type of geometry? Trigonometry? Or polynomials? Or polygons, I mean? Polygons? Or. Uh, or volumes, area? Algebra, geo. Like shapes, etc. If you want. Uh, uh, what do you call it? So keep this in mind, gang. If you know the answer to this, please let us know. And Ding Bobber, I'm confused. About 15 and 60. 
It's okay. I figured you figured out that. <laughs> You're laughing as well. Arithmetic is easy. Math is hard. Ah. Arithmetic is just instructions, but for sure, let's do geometry. Take a look at this thing. Look, let's assume if you're talking about uh, shapes and etc. Each shape has a certain way of figuring out its area or volume. If we're talking about area and volume, please let me know if areas and volumes is what you want to talk about, right? So, for example, if you want to figure out here, actually, let me give you the lowdown on geometry for a second. Let me give you my little intro to this, right? This should hopefully trigger something for you. Look, Mr. Gaming Beast, what do you call this? Right? You can call it a point, but you call it the dot, right? So, algebra, algebra, okay, pay attention to this. It's going to take about five, ten minutes. And coming out of this, hopefully, it'll allow you to appreciate how to figure out area, volume, and stuff. 10th grade. Watch this. Okay. Ready? Watch this. Here's a point in space. Okay. Let's call this a point. A point in space has zero dimensions. It's just the coordinates of something or just a coordinate, right? So this has zero dimensions a point in space zero d okay now take this point put your pen on it and drag it along this way what do you call this you call this a line right and a line has a length okay so this is a length and a length is one directional right one plane really it's not a plane but one dimension right so this is 1d okay now take your point put your pen on the on the surface draw your line right drag your point across and then take this line and zoom it up drag it up What do you call this? Okay, you call this a plane view or an area. Area. Now this had this direction and this direction. So it's 2D. 2D. Okay. So if you want to figure out the area of this thing, you multiply this times this you multiply the two directions together now depending on the shape that you have right sometimes you have to do other things to it right so for example I'm gonna do a little aside here for example let's assume you have a triangle right angle triangle well this is this direction and that direction this is not a direction it's not a D right because this is flat right to find the area of this what you do so for this one the area would be width or width times length right here's a width here's a length to find the area here the area of this triangle would be width times length divided by two divided by two because if you take a square like this and you cut it you get your triangle right so the area formula for a triangle is one half width times length and the area for a rectangle is length times width do you follow the main thing you should be getting out here is two dimensions means two directions okay two axes now take your point here drag it into a, a line okay take this line zoom it up so we're basically 
going through our dimensions, right? We started with zero dimensions. We're going to one dimension. We're going to two dimensions. Then take this two dimensional surface, right? Because area is a surface. Surface. Take the surface and foo, push it into the wall or foo, push it out of the wall, right? Then what you get is a three dimensional object because you got three directions you've moved in. You've gone this way, you went this way, and then you went into the wall, right? So you got length, width, and depth. This is called a volume. And some people call this a sphere. A sphere is special, like it's three dimensional object, 3D. Everything is not a, uh, not a sphere. Um, uh, the, uh, prism, right? But everything's not a prism. Okay, we'll call this a volume, right? So volume is three dimensions. And if you want to figure out the volume of something, you multiply all three directions together. So the volume of this box, right? Volume of box is equal to, or cube, let's call it a cube. Volume of a cube, well, no, let's call it a box. Because a cube is, all the sides are the same. Volume of a box is length times width times depth length times width times depth and they give different letters for these things right they give different meanings they go um this is i don't know whatever it whatever it might be right i'm just calling them l w d okay now keep this in mind a three-dimensional object has two-dimensional surfaces right so you could figure out the surface of each side of this right this is a six sided box. So to figure out the total surface area of this thing, you have to figure out the surface of the front, of the back, which is gonna be the same as the front, of the top, which is the same as the bottom, of the right side, which is the same as the left side, right? So that's the volume of this box. The surface area, the surface area of the box would be length times width gives you the surface of this, length times width and the same thing exists at the back so it'd be two of them plus depth times width because it would be this times this which gives you the area here right again two directions multiplied together give you that area and there'd be another one on this side right so it's going to 2 dw plus which one haven't we done yet the top and the bottom the top and the bottom is length times distance, right? This times this gives you the bottom and the top. So two length times D. Now these are simple shapes. The line is simple, it's a straight line. This is a rectangle and this is just a box. Different three dimensional objects have different formulas, okay? So if you have a cone that's a three-dimensional object. There's a different formula for this that you have to... Some, sometimes they say you have to memorize it. I don't memorize formulas. So usually you're provided with a formula sheet that gives you the volume of a sphere. I think it's 4 thirds pi r cubed uh, times h. Pi r squared times h. I think that's it. Okay, you just plug it in. R is this and H is the height. Okay, so you just have to plug in the appropriate links into your formulas and you figure out the volume. And this has a formula for the surface area, which is basically the surface area of the circle on the bottom and the surface area of the surrounded cone. Okay. The R cube would be cylinder. The volume, the, where do we put this? The volume of a cylinder. Oh no, it wouldn't be. Um, this one would be R squared. The volume of a sphere would be R cubed. Is that gonna be four thirds? I'm not sure about the four thirds. 
the volume of a sphere should be four thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius, I think. Again, I don't memorize formulas, I look them up. Okay. The sand is called sand because it's between sea and land. Haha. <laughs> Not all sand is between sea and land, though. Pythagore. Uh, Mr. Gaming B. Sorry if this is easy. No, brother, sister, or you're a mister, so brother. Uh, look, it's you have to start somewhere, and mathematics, if you don't know how to add fractions, we go over how to add fractions. Those are important. It's the it's the it's the base that's the most the foundation which is the most important, right? I'm not for America, still learning it. Geometry, I know. I bet it is super easy for you, smart. No, but I'm still learning. Hope nobody's mad. No, of course not. Mr. Gaming, it's all good. I hope this helps. Uh and this is a drop-in tutoring sessions. You're welcome to ask anything you want, and we'll go over it. If you want to go over the real number set, we'll go over the real number set. Adding, subtracting fractions, multiplying fractions, we do. Okay. Um, nobody's mad at me for asking him to teach me geometry. No, of course not. Again, my apologies, but this is useful. Better than playing, uh, paying tutors. This is free. Love this man. Awesome. I'm about to be learning algebra two next year. Okay. You're doing amazing. Keep learning yeah for sure never be shy never be shy no question is a bad question if you don't know you ask so that's how i learned right just because i learned it it doesn't mean other people aren't allowed to ask the same questions i had to ask to learn something right <laughs> time didn't stop mr gaming you're worse than math than kakwana not worse since i'm not from here aka america i have to learn this now i'm in america near la so yeah i try and learn awesome i might be able to learn harder math in high school soon awesome that's good the four is not there for the cone the four is not there for the cone okay cool so it's one third thank you very much for the correction one third thanks making you how do we differentiate uh, I can I can do the finding derivatives of polynomials polynomials are easy hello off of B man have some some of my money. <laughs> have some of my money think <laughs> yeah, my question was how many bars in a minute with a tempo of 111 if there are 15 bars in a minute at a tempo of 60 hope you get it if not i will dm you sorry for the confusion tempo equals how fast the bar progress oh tempo is how fast bar progresses okay cool brady ship thank you very much for twitch prime sub okay let's try this out um okay i'm gonna erase this is that okay mr uh mr who mr gaming beast boop doop doop awesome i'm assuming that works for you <laughs> How do you do a differential function? Can you testiculate the area of a pyramid? The area of a pyramid? Sure, we can figure that out. Yeah, I'll find the find the formula for area of a pyramid. You apply it to both sides and use implicit uh, differentiation. It depends on the function. If you want to take a, a derivative of a function, what type of function are you looking at? Uh, differentiate is it is that supposed to be ln functions or just polynomial functions yeah it helped okay awesome mr gaming how does one compute the area of a <laughs> you mean a sphere i don't a sphere is just a formula ding bobber let's take a look my question was what uh, how many bars in a minute with a tempo of 100, 111 if there are 15 bars in a minute at a tempo of 60 okay so 15 bars for a tempo of 60 then uh, 
da 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 Bars in a minute at a tempo of 60. Uh, my question was how many bars in a minute with a tempo of 111 if there are 15 bars in a minute in a tempo yeah so it's just this X yeah then this works yeah 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 then this works for sure what you had is right so you just this divided by that equals that divided by that 15 over 60 is equal to X over 111 then you cross multiply this up X is equal to 111 over 60 times 15 right? which is what you had yeah 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 the other one didn't make sense it just wasn't working out right it just wasn't working out good stuff it's just ratios easy yeah in my latest math uh, in my latest math PhD it was asked to compute the area between the dude <laughs> I, was, I was thinking would I need to use some equation or how I would go about it really depends on you. Do you have big cojones or you got little cojones? <laughs> and a lot of skin just flapping around, blowing in the wind, right? Because you might be full of poop. <laughs> Yo, my other question was convoluted. Yeah, your other question was wacko, Ding Bauer. Your other question was crazy. It wasn't crazy. It was just like it didn't make sense. You're trying to connect up the three, but they were connecting to the wrong places, right? It's really important in mathematics. Use the pointers, right? Use the pointers. We're coming up to a couple of hours, gang. We're coming up to a couple of hours. Should we call the stream? Good first math stream. Good first math stream. Fun, right? We'll be here again. If I'm heading up the up up the chocolate speedway at 35 miles an hour and I have enough petrol for two hours, how far can I go? If I'm heading up the chocolate speedway at 35 miles per hour and I have enough petrol for two hours, oh, so how far? How how long? Can, 70 70 miles, right? That's all it would be. You just you travel seventy miles. E for the pie. I was. Uh, it was nice to be on a live stream. Yeah, for sure, Rando. Uh, fun. I like these things. I'm a lurker. Lucian, lurk away, lurk away. I haven't been missing the stream. My fault. But I do catch the recorded streams on youtube awesome awesome brando it's fun doing though and uh, within two well no sometimes it takes me longer a few days to load up the streams on uh, youtube and bitshoot and is on upside down do you do physics or just math i do some physics as well yeah brando i uploaded my own video through instagram and used their music uh, they provided. Then I got a censorship. Oh crap. Automod held a message off them. Need to calculate. <laughs> off man. <laughs> you're you're trolling, but you're trolling in a sort of a, a weird way. That's like your sense of humor is uh, uh, an acquired taste <laughs> for the list, I was censored when given the resources from Instagram Facebook I'm not trolling I'm curious <laughs> That's right. you need it for a THD I guess you better show up on the next one like the wild and crazy guys you were like the wild and crazy guys you were I was censored when given the resources from Instagram Facebook take care to each other Starsky take care when's the next stream did you say it uh, will we pot yeah tomorrow night at 8 p.m. my time PDT we do politics Sunday night 8 p.m. PDT we do personal finance and investing and on Wednesday I believe we're doing a comic book reading at I forget what time okay Steve Martin and Dan <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know your calculus or calm or something though. But okay. Boop. I'm out. I'm gonna do my uh, what do you call it? Uh, closing uh Boop. <laughs> closing little spiel off uh, off B man. So I'm timing you out. Do you remember that sketch Chicho? The Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd sketch? No, no. Which sketch? <laughs> More toilet paper. <laughs> Good morning, Chicho. How are you doing? I love your username. From Western Australia. Great to catch a stream. I'd just like to thank you for educating me in the importance of decentralization. I'm currently self-employed and have one business with four different forms of income incoming into that business and currently looking at starting a new business the freedom and happiness this has given me is amazing so i just like to thank say thank you my pleasure my pleasure and if everybody in the world decentralized man it would be just as beautiful as everybody being literate in the language of mathematics so just imagine everybody in the world decentralizing everybody in the world learning mathematics being literate in the language of mathematics we rule right everybody can decide their own destiny right very happy to help brother and i'm glad you took some of the things i had to say to heart and uh, decentralize so important eh? so important so important very happy this working out snl if i have a building with three floors how would i work out the circumference of a <laughs> They were Eastern Europeans and would say popular phrase, but wrong because of the language barrier. I can post on Discord. Post it on Discord, uh, uh, Vando Hits. Gang, thanks for being here. Fun stream. Good way to start uh, our math streams that we're going to continue on for the rest of the year. Uh, after the school year, anyway. And welcome back from summer vacation. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, I'm on Patreon. Oop, over here. Patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o <laughs> depends on your nana right was she was she what was she have my money i'm gonna time you out i'm just gonna do my closing in a chill way <laughs> little timeouts what's up chicho brooks how are you doing hope you're doing well yeah enjoying my time loving this so if you want to follow this work patreon is a fantastic way to follow this project if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to support this project i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you for the support very much appreciated it is because of your support that we're able to do this in a large part okay we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in this <laughs> chat live and if you have math questions that you need help with twitch is where you want to be at twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e come to these live streams get some math help there are other people that know math better than me if I can't help you out, other people might be able to help you out. Do you know how to prove the LN uh, derivative uh, rules? Uh, no, no. Makinu, I have to review all my calculus, really. Uh, I know how to do, if I look it up, I gotta do a little review on it and do the f of x is equal to limit of h goes to zero. I can do it, like, but I have to look it up again, right? And then you do that you do that so do i yeah really i have to review I have to review right i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk gab parlor and twitter for now okay you can follow the work there and uh, every now and then we'll do unannounced live streams as well and all, all the links will be in the description of this video and are available on our social networking connections for live streams where we don't have any visuals uh, 
we will be uploading the audio and we'll record with the lapel mic onto SoundCloud as podcast. SoundCloud.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. And they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. Okay. And we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And you can support this work by following, subscribing, sharing, commenting, liking. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. Okay. Aside from that, gang, thanks for being here, mods. Thanks for taking care of business. Thanks for popping in, checking it. Uh, gang, thank you for the questions. Thank you for participating. Uh, and we'll be here. We'll be here anywhere between two to four times a month for anyone that needs math help. And if you do know people that do need help with their mathematics, uh, usually at the beginning of the year, we're a little bit more chill and we kick it into hardcore math mode uh, when the questions pop up. I just posted wild and crazy guys and comedians section in Discord. Awesome, awesome, random hits. Nice. We're just a bunch of wild and crazy guys. I know that, the, the sketch they used to do. <laughs> they dress all wacko. I think they have the hats and they have the they have the 70s style cut shirts that they wear. Nah, nah, nah. I think so anyway. I'll go check it out. I'll go check it out. Yeah, that's the one. Old school SNL. Used to be for real not anymore haven't been for real for a very long time i think right politicize up the yin yang on one side mm. i haven't followed that stuff for a while but when dan Aykroyd and john belushi and stuff were in there old school was very good old school was very good gang thanks for being here i'll see you guys tomorrow sunday or wednesday if you can make it or the following sets bye everyone